Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm here to help you set up your new torch system, which is actually pretty easy to do. When you get your torch system, you're going to have um, the hose with the torch, you're going to have a propane regulator, and an oxygen regulator. And what you need to do first is hook up the regulators. So with your tanks filled, you're going to go ahead and attach the regulators. Now the propane one is going to be cross um, reverse threaded. So if you can't get it on one way, just start turning it the other and it'll start going on. You want to do this by hand and slightly wiggle it as you do it so that you're careful not to um, cross thread the threads and just hand tighten it as best you can and keep wiggling it. Once you can't go anymore, you take a crescent wrench and come in here and get this tighter. There we go. And you want to do this real, uh, very snug. You don't want to um, over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you can damage the threads or the seats. So just a nice firm pressure and get it tight. Then what you want to do is you want to switch to your oxygen regulator. This will be the regulator that does not have the notches in, in the nut here. And this threads on the right way, so it'll be righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's a little easier to do. So there again, we're going to do it by hand, tight. And then we'll follow up with um, the crescent wrench. Just nice and snug, not over tight. Now what you want to do is get a flashback arrestor. For this type of torch, this is a regular, regulator mounted tor uh, flashback arrestor. The green one will be for the oxygen. As you can see, the nut does not have any notches in it. And the one with the notches is going to be for the propane. And you want to check the arrow and make sure that when you put it on, the arrow flows out through, through the torch handle. What these do is this prevents a flashback. If there's a the fire goes back through the torch handle and into the hose, this will prevent the flame from going actually into the tank and exploding. So there again, tighten by hand and then follow up with just a light pressure of the crescent wrench. And the same for the oxygen. Make sure that the arrow is pointing away from the regulator and going to the hose little pressure and now we'll put on the ho um, the hoses now it doesn't matter which order you do this you can do this propane first or oxygen first it doesn't really matter finger tight first and a slight pressure here again the notches on the nut match all the other notches on propane. that means it's propane it's going to be threaded backwards and we went to this finger tight and then a little crescent wrench. Now what we want to do is actually um, open the tanks and let the pressure, this gauge right here on both regulators will show you how much gas is in each tank. This gauge right here actually tells you how much pressure is in the hose and you set that differently for different size tips. So we're gonna make sure that this T-knob is backed out. That's your first step in turning on the tanks. Make sure it's the same for the oxygen too. Once the release valves are opened, you can crack this open. On propane, you want to um, open up the tanks all the way until the knob stops. And you can see we have that much gas in this tank. Now for oxygen, we make sure the T-knob is loose. And then there again, we're going to crank this open all the way until it stops. Now what we want to do is we want to set the pounds per square inch of pressure for the lines. And we're going to start with the propane. It doesn't really matter if you start with propane or oxygen. So we're going to just start with the propane. We're going to do about seven pounds on this one. Now each pound is going to be different for each torch tip. So you need to um, look in the manual for the torch and it will tell you how many pounds of pressure for each size tip that you're going to use. Once we have pressure inside the lines and there's pressure throughout, we want to make sure that there's no leaks anywhere. So wherever we threaded, 
we want to use a, a leak detection system product that um, it's a soapy product that'll blow up if there's a leak. They'll blow little bubbles. And if we see bubbles, we know that we need to tighten things down so that there's no bubbles. And we're going to do everything that we actually put together. See? There's a leak. So all we need to do now is while the tank is still on, we can still tighten that until the, pre until the bubble stop. See, no more bubbles. Oh, we got more bubbles. There we go. And we're going to continue on with the rest here. There, we've checked for leaks. We're looking pretty good. Now what we need to do is light the torch. Now when you're lighting a torch, you do have to do, um, turn the propane knob on first. This is going to be the red one. Red line goes to the propane. The green knob will go to the oxygen and we're gonna turn this on first. Now when you first start lighting your torch and you turn on the tanks, there might be some oxygen, or air actually, in the line. So you wanna bleed it off just a little bit. And once you're ready, you can light the flame. And then with the flame lit, you can start adding oxygen to the type of flame that you need. And that's it. To turn the flame off, oxygen first, propane second, then you're done.